What's up, 180? Welcome again to Stepping Out, our midweek Devo for me and Lee. We just want to tell you again that we love you. We thank you so much for listening to these videos. Pass it on to your friends. Keep spreading the word. It's all about the Lord. So listen here. I got a little bit of verses to go through in 2 Samuel 23. And it talks about David's mighty men. At this point in time, there's a lot of battles waging. And so David's talking about how mighty his men are and how much battle they go through and how they're fiercely fighting battles, honoring the honoring uh, honoring King David as he continues to do that. So this is it, guys. Listen, as you continue to step out and serve the Lord, you know it and I know it. There's battles that's going to rage, whether it's friends or bullies, whether it's things that are internally like gossip or, or uh, backbiting, things that you do that you get caught up in every day because of your friends or your influences. It happens, guys, and I'm not saying that you're immune to it or I. So listen, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Let's read these two scriptures here right here, and let's see what the Word has to say. And it says, After him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, one of the three mighty men with David, when they defied the Philistines who were gathered there for battle. And the men of Israel had retreated. See, right here they're in the, they're in the heat of battle. And they're talking about this guy, and it says, He arose and attacked the Philistines until his hand was weary, and his hand stuck to the sword. Listen, guys, you're going to be fighting middle, many battles out here. And this is what God wants you to do. He wants you to fight until your hand is weary. And he wants you to put those burdens upon him because this is what he said. It says that his hand was stuck to the sword. Let me ask you a question, guys. When you're fighting a battle and you think the enemy's about to win, God's already defeated your enemy. Guess what the sword is? It's the word in your hand. When you're fighting the battle, return to the word. Return to God. Listen to what he's saying to you. Read your Bible. That's what he asked you to do. And guess this is what he does. Are you ready? It says, the Lord brought about a great victory that day, and the people returned after him only to plunder. This is it. You ready? As you go through these battles, as you fight, as you endure for Christ, He will strengthen you. Don't worry about your weary hand. Worry about the word in your hand, and God will take care of your enemies. He's walked the path for you. He's defeated all of your enemies. Keep stepping out. Keep serving the Lord in your schools, at your work, in your homes. Honor your mother and father. All of those things, uh, guys, that's it. That's the ticket. Look to the Lord. Ask Him for your strength in your word. Keep your word in your hand as you're fighting everyday battles. Know that God has got your back, that He has empowered you to search out and save the lost. Love you guys. Have a good week. Right now, take just a few minutes and say, God, where do you want to use me? Lord, even if my hand grows weary, will you keep your word in my hand? Will you keep your words upon my mouth? Joshua 1 8 says to meditate on the word daily. You will be blessed, guys. You will be blessed, ladies. All you got to do is step up, read your word, stay in the word, serve the Lord. Don't give up. Keep hope. Fight on.